Hey guys, Dandy Dan here bringing you another video with a brand new attack. Just to show you the evolution of this, um, you see eight months ago, this was actually the very first YouTube video that I posted for Clash Clans. Um, you see Farming Dark Elixir, then you see One Million Raid, then Goblin Style Dark Elixir, which that may be a mispost. Maybe it's a short video, but it's 15 seconds. Then you see the actual Goblin Rushing video. Uh, this was seven months ago, eight months ago. So what I'm saying is, if you heard the term Goblin Knife, this actually predates the term Goblin Knife. There was no such thing back then when I made this video. I was like, wow, this is really cool. I can rush all these goblins in. It's goblin rushing. And, you know, take out the town hall and the dark elixir. And I farmed up quite a bit of dark elixir when I was doing my hero farming. And the evolution of that attack was the fact that I needed dark elixir for my heroes. So now we will come back to present day. We'll let the uh, game boot up here. And what we're going to go to now, you know, with a new update. Of course, Goblin Knife still works. Now, on this particular account, I recently just finished my spell factory and picked up Jump and Freeze. So, with the advent of having Jump, I can get back to some things that really work. Um, so, instead of having to do BAMs, uh, trying to do, you know, collector raids, pumps and mines, I can still continue to do those type of things with this army. But, with the advent of having Jump, and having P.E.K.K.A.s, which are much better than ever before, because they're not taking double damage by Teslas, we now have a new attack, which is the Peg Knife. Okay, uh, what that is, is it's P.E.K.K.A.s and Goblins. Okay, P.E.K.K.A.s and Goblins, I'm sorry. Well, so uh, we're just going to take a look here at the old attack log. And if we look at these two attacks right here, um... You're going to see I have a bunch of archers, uh, eight goblins, two pekkas, clan castle, and 35, 40 goblins. You know, you can vary on this a little bit. And what we're going to do, speed it up a little bit, do some funneling. And then we're going to bring the troops in. And there's some more wall breakers, I think. Oh, maybe I just busted through the old fashioned way with the rage. And here comes the cavalry, and I drop the jump on the town hall. Goblins come in. Drop a poison to get rid of those wizards as best I can. They did slow me down a little, or this would have been a lot better. Um, and then the peckers, you see them in there, they're just slamming stuff. But the other main thing is, they're drawing the crossbow fire, and that's what makes this attack so much better than a regular goblin knife. And before, the Teslas would have roached the P.E.K.K.A.s, but now they can be offensive and take out storages that you want, and they can take out big hit point items like the Town Hall and help, but they can also draw off the fire from crossbows and Teslas and things like that, so your goblins go a little farther. So you see, I get a ton of this loot. I get 1,500 Dark Elixir. I'm not using any Dark Elixir for the army, so it's, it's why well, I used a poison. So it's pretty much profit. Like it's a great thing. Um, so if you can find bases where it's pretty much all in the storage in the town hall, just like a goblin knife, but you're using those pekkas, it's going to be really good. Um, so let's look at one more. I guess it will be this guy. So this is another one, same army. Now we're going to start on the sides. Do a couple wizards, some archers, and once you clear the crumbs off the right and the left, you can drop those peckas and they will just help eat their way into the wall. So if the wall breakers don't do the job, then you can drop a rage and they'll just literally cut right through. And I could have dropped that jump a little forward or there, it really didn't make a big difference. Um, but you see the peckas even split off into each compartment and look at where the crossbow fire is going. It's going to the peckas, which is awesome. Now, if you've got a heal in this batch as well, you can heal the peckas and make them last a little longer while it's on the goblins, which you're getting double efficiency out of that heal. And you see, I just rack up a ton of loot, but look at the dark elixir. Um, it's just really good. 
Um, and again, that's pretty much pure profit. I didn't even have to use a poison on this. So that's all going towards my heroes. That's where it's going. So this is the peg knife, guys. And you saw it here on Real Clash.